Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made these cool looking T-Loy holders. So I had these beaten up old fence posts and I couldn't think of anything to do with them and most of them were bent so I looked to find the straightest one. And this was the straightest one I could find. As you can see it's covered in paint and marks. So the first thing to do, I marked up um, a section there to cut off to give me a clean edge. And then I decided on uh, three t -loy holders of uh, different heights. And I just marked up with a speed square. So then I just checked to make sure that my mitre saw was square with the speed square before making the cuts. So now I had three T-Lite holders of different heights and I needed to find the centre point so that I could drill the hole for the T-Lite. So to drill the holes, um, the diameter of standard t light is around 38 millimeters. So I went with a 40 millimeter force a bit, which is slightly larger than the t light. And I set that up in my drill press. So at first before I turn the machine on I just lined up the point in the centre of the force bit with the point that I'd drawn on the wood and then I just took it really easy and went really slow and slowly removed that material. And I wanted the tea lights to sit flush with the top of the wood. So I was just careful to not go down too far. So I went ahead and made three holes in total. And then it was just time to test the holes with the T-Light. And as you can see, they're quite flush with the top and they sit nicely. So the next thing to do was to give them a really good sanding down as this wood was really rough. So I started off with an 80 grit sandpaper. And I went round the edges as well just to round everything off. I then uh, used a 240 grit sandpaper to finish everything off. And I just took my time here. Um, I just went round the whole thing, uh, each one a few times over to make sure everything was nice and smooth. And you can see there there's some little holes where some nails were in the posts. So I'm just going to fill those. Once that was dry and sanded, um, I gave them all a brushing off, ready for waxing. And 
And for that, I used a wax called Bison Wax. So I just went round them all and give them a good uh, covering, making sure they were completely covered. And then I just gave them a buffing off with a dry cloth, just to give them a little bit of a sheen. And now they just needed some candles in. So there you have it. I was really pleased with how these turned out, especially when it was just an old piece of beaten up fence post. So uh, if you found this video useful, please like and a comment and also consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.